Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video and today we are in London. That's right and we are with some very special cars. A certain one in particular that has just pulled up, uh, owned by my friend Mo. Um, man, I just want to show you this. Look at that. How awesome does this look? It was just by chance that I woke up this morning, got out of bed, ran the car over to the car wash and saw this beauty pull up. I absolutely love this wild spec. I mean, look at the long plate as well. It's an ad and blue with the bronze wheel and it doesn't even stop there. It's, it's even got the the SV Racing seats, the carbon seats, and also yellow inside. The yellow also goes up to the steering wheel as well. What? All this carbon, illuminated sills. It surely is a very, very, very special Aventador S Roadster. Okay guys, today I'm going to be running my car over to uh, get paint protection film put, applied onto it. Um, the car is actually finished in gloss white at the moment. Uh, I've just had a weekend in uh, London with it, uh, which has been fantastic by the way. The car sounds amazing, uh, especially when the sound echoes between the buildings and the streets and oh, it's amazing, the pops and crackles. But there it is, finishing gloss white. So what I'm going to be doing is putting a uh, satin uh, paint protection PPF film on top of this paintwork um, and that will make that will make uh, I think the car look a little bit more stealthy a little bit more sporty you'll be able to see the the, the lines the creases on the bodywork a lot better and also it will bring out the carbon fiber and the gloss black bits because um, they are going to be staying gloss so not the whole car is going to be going satin just the white bits but wow so excited I'm going to be running that over. Um, I just love London, especially when I wake up in the morning, boom, go for a drive, you're bound to bump into a friend. And uh, seeing this blue Aventador this morning just goes to show that Lamborghini's hair, boom, in a wild colour, can look absolutely amazing. And then, oh my God, is that Rolls Royce colour? Mo, you just spotted a colour then. Check this out. That is probably, yeah, because the customer car is actually going to build. No. No. This is car spotting at its finest. Yeah, Mo, I think we, we need a career change, bro. And we just left our cars running over there to walk up. We, we just left our cars running over there. Huh? <laughs> Check this out, what? No way! Guys, I think I just spotted the colour. The fact that customer cars don't even go into build until um, Jan. Look at that. Wow. What a great find. Jabba, you killed it with that one, bro. <laughs> You've left the door open on your car as well. What are you doing? Yeah, the silver one. The Aston Martin. The DB5. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, that was actually a very beautiful Aston Martin. Yeah, of course. Take care. Okay, guys, we think we're causing a little bit of a scene here. So, uh, don't think we're parked very appropriately. Well, I'm going to head over towards Park Royal Sides um, and uh, give the car over to the workshop where they're going to be applying the film. Um, Boom, really, really excited to see the transformation. It'll take four or five days to do. Once that is done, I will pick up the car and then, uh, yeah, take a friend along and show you the city at night. That's what I wanted to do, but I think I wanted to do that when the film was applied so I could show you um, the car and how it's gonna be in its final state. Awesome, let's do this. Let's go. Funky Friday and had poorly a man them skating. I came in 550 on trainers. I look girl amazing, could be beige and trini or Haitian. She got back. Them niggas are mad. Yell at my feet and them bitches are. This is why the ultimate supercar test should be done in London. 
you got so much room to drive your car, so much space, so much space to enjoy all that power. <laughs> Okay guys, now I have arrived at the workshop that will be applying my paint protection film. The car is behind me here. I have the reef to go back in. Um, and just to look around the car, I want to remind you guys again, um, PPF basically protects the paintwork. So because this is a sports car and it's quite low, um, it is very prone to picking up stone chips. I've got some hurricanes and the front of the bonnet uh, before PPF, it's like somebody has sandblasted it through. Uh, but anyway, there she is. Uh, the, all the white bits on the car are going to be going matte. All the gloss black bits are going to be staying gloss black and they will have gloss uh, um, PPF all over it. Right, I'm now gonna walk over to the workshop to quickly show you exactly um, how, I, how they apply the PPF very, very quickly, very, very briefly. There's lots of videos that you can see on how PPF is applied. So, by me doing this part is really not going to make a difference. But I really want to show you the difference uh, between the satin PPF and the gloss. You know, I, you could just wrap the car in uh, satin white, matte white. However, um, I think the PPF is a better choice because it also holds the original factory color. Let's have a look at some of the cars in the workshop here. So we've got the new Aston Martin DB11 as well. <coughs> the GT C, GT4, is it GTC4 Lucer? I don't know what the exact name is of these. Some very, very, very bright McLarens. And the car in question, I wanted to show you, before I do, I just wanted to show you this Mercedes-Benz limo having a stage five detail on it. Let me show you the, what the matte PPF does exactly. So this is a, this is a black car first, let me show you. As you can see here, it's gloss, and this is with the matte PPF all over it. A very, very nice finish. And it is cut right to the edge, so it is a clean, seamless um, fit. And this one you can see, this is the matte PPF and this is the gloss. So that's what's going to be happening to my car. And I think it will bring uh, out the gloss black bits, especially the forged carbon and the, uh, the, gloss, the gloss black parts, the plastics and whatnot, a lot, lot better. It will, uh, it will expose them a lot better. So guys, anyway, I'm going to leave the boys over here at Topaz with the car. Uh, hopefully in the next four to five days they will have it ready and I can't wait to see what it will look like once it is finished. Their work is second to none. There she is, the last time you were seeing the Hurricane Pepermonte Spider in gloss white. It's now gonna be going matte with the gloss black uh, carbon fiber bits. I'm super, super excited. It's gonna be, uh, I think it's gonna look a lot more sportier. Um, you're gonna be able to see the uh, lines and the shapes a lot better. Not that you can't already see it, um, and this is the first time I'm actually having uh, matte PPF applied onto my car, so I'm excited to see how it turns out. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Make sure you... Pardon? GFC. GFC? Yeah. Oh, JFC. Yeah. Uh, sorry brother, I do not know where this place is. My bad. Uh, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe, share and like for more, and I'll catch you when this is done. I'll see you soon guys, take it easy, God bless, bye bye.